Hello Ji, welcome back to next one. In this we are going to discuss about a JSON. We will understand what is a JSON and what is a structure of a JSON and if you wanted to build a JSON files then how this can be built because JSON is a very very important if you are working on API testing or any other uh, technology in a software industry then it is incomplete without a JSON. So let's understand what is a JSON and before that if you are new to the Fundu testers don't forget to like and share this video and consider subscribing Fundu testers. Camera rolling action. Let's go to the presentation and first of all let's see what is a JSON. So JSON basically stands for javascript object notation and it is a very lightweight and it is easy to read and easy to understand and it can be parsed easy very easily so if you are working on any technology like uh, if you are working on android or if you are working on a web development test automation or whatever in a software field json can be useful everywhere for example let's say if you wanted to store a test data then instead of storing a test data uh, into excel or csv file you can go ahead with json because it will be easy to read and easy to update easy to write and easy to delete so that's why json is a most preferable format compared to the any other format now why json as i said json is a widely used uh, in terms of a web development or in any other technology earlier data exchange happens via html form and those were a very heavy data with the help of uh, json files we can exchange data between client and server very easily and mostly json is a preferred format for a apis if you're working on a soap uh, soap apis or a rest apis or a graphql json is being used everywhere now let's talk about a testing side though so as a tester what is the use of a json file so basically we can store a test data into a json file compared to the any other format earlier we used to store test data into excel file and csv but the there will leads to a multiple error and it's not uh, that much easy compared to the JSON in to write or read data. So that's why JSON is a uh, preferable format. And apart from if you're working on uh, APIs or any other backend technologies, all the data are being exchanged via JSON files mo in most of the cases. And apart from if you're working on a test automation and working on a backend automation, so serialization and deserialization also we can use a uh, uh, JSON files and apart from a configuration management like we have to store a user credentials or any other application related data then we can go ahead with a JSON file and the test result representation also we can do via JSON file now let's understand the structure of a JSON so basically uh, JSON file starting or ending can be a two different properties one is a JSON object and another is a JSON array so if it is a JSON object then it can start and end with a curly braces or if it is a json array then it will start and end with a square braces so you have to remember these things if the data is in, in between the curly braces then it is a json object and apart from a data storage part so json data being represented in, in a key and values pairs and for a value you can store a four types of a data which is a string number boolean or null if you wanted to store a string data those are a sequence of a characters basically basically and you need to store uh, in in between double quotes so if you are not using a double quotes then you will leads to the json passing error apart from a number so numbers you can store any numbers like integer float b or a double number and this can be stored without any flower braces or without double quotes or you can you just need to mention that directly numbers and then boolean so boolean you can uh, it can be a true or it can be a false and if you have some empty data for example let's say mobile number i wanted to store a mobile number and some user does not have a mobile number so we have to pass a empty data so in that case uh, we can go with a null as a data type so let's see in a action this is how json will look like so for example here the all the keys as i said uh, whatever data is uh, displaying in a saffron or a yellow is kind of a color those are a key and green color data are a uh, values basically you can store data like keys will be always stored in a double quotes and those will have only single data so it cannot uh, for a value i cannot specify multiple values like a name one name two name three it has to be always one so here we can see name age student id 
name, contact details. This is the only one string. And for a value, we can mention multiple data. So for example, let's say I have a string, uh, then I can mention like this uh, in double quote, fundu testers. If I wanted to store an integer value or any other format, then directly I can store like this. And if I wanted to store a Boolean value, so for example, is adult means student age is above 18 or not. So here I'm mentioning false. This student age is not more than 18. And it is saying a JSON is valid. So like this, I can mention a true or false. It can be a true or it can be a false. And apart from the last value is the empty. So for example, let's say like that I wanted to store some data. So I can store like a null. And if I val validate the JSON, this will look like this apart from uh, we can not store a duplicate keys for example let's say is adult and is empty i'm duplicating the data so for example i am copying this now i have a duplicate key uh, one key represents boolean data and one key represents null data so if i val validate the json it is saying a json uh, duplicate key is adult so which means i cannot add a duplicate data uh, with a json file and apart from if i wanted to store data in a into json array then simply i can store like this for example i have a multiple student list and i wanted to pass a student data so for example here i can mention the name like in misant or ram or amit so like this i can represent the data in a within a values uh, if i wanted to store data as a object for a values uh, so like this I can pass so it will be like a uh, nested data and for example let's say this is a student 1 data and for a student 1 I wanted to pass a multiple data uh, so for example let's say id I wanted to pass name I wanted to pass so how this can be done so like this like a simple json we have to mention like uh, if I am going to another uh, json link and I have uh, this kind of a data uh, for each and every student I have a id uh, this ID is a one for a first student and then I have a name uh, like this I can mention the name here uh, the name is a Nissan and then I wanted to store a mobile number of a student so I can pass a contact details or a mobile number and I can pass mobile number like a 989898 something like this and validate the JSON so this JSON is validate now I wanted to pass as a multi with a multiple student. So here I have a student data, but now I need multiple student data. So earlier what we did, we just have a student names. But now uh, since our academy is growing, I wanted to store a multiple data for each student. Then I can pass data as an object. So here if I have a one data, then simply we can pass with a JSON array. But if I have a multiple data, then how can be passed? So here basically uh, this entire data we can pass as a key of a every JSON. So understand JSON, understand the JSON array. So array will have a multiple elements, like a zeroth element, first element, second element, third element. So now uh, you can store, whether you can store a string, whether you can store a DC, uh, numbers value like a student, uh, like ID you wanted to pass. So if you have multiple ID, then again you can uh, store multiple data like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Similar ways, if you have a multiple object data, then also you can pass like this within a JSON object. So this is a JSON object and I am passing uh, this data, I am copying this data and I am passing uh, this data. So like this, I also can pass. So now as of now, I have only one student data. This is considered as a one element. This is the first element of a JSON, ob JSON array and which is a JSON object. Now I can pass multiple data and uh, like this student one. Uh, now I need to separate with a comma and then student two information. I'm changing the ID and I'm changing a name will be a RAM. So this data is also valid. Similar way, I can pass some multiple data, like a third student detail. ID is 3 and name is a Amit. So this student data is valid. This day, students are having a multiple mobile numbers. So I wanted to store a multiple mobile number or I wanted to store a student plus parent mobile number. So again, for this data, I have multiple data. For a mobile number, I wanted to store a multiple data. So what can I do? I can either go with a, like a, a JSON uh, array json array and i can store a multiple contact details so this is the one way but here the problem is i cannot know that this is a student contact detail or this is father's contact detail so what i can do 
I can go with a JSON object and I can mention here student number and I can pass some number here and then I can pass another data uh, which is a father number and I can pass some number so this JSON is uh, again valid so now understand it is starting from the JSON object and then we have multiple keys and values pair like a name age student students now student having a multiple data that's why we are storing it to json object and this is the first json object now requirement has changed for mobile number we want us to store multiple data so then we have used a json object but this this has created the ambiguity that's why we are storing a data in another format which is again json object so uh in json object json array again json object again inside that we have json object so like this json data can be a nested and you need to try to understand and how data is being represented so this is how json is going to look like i hope this video is informative and if you have any questions feel free to drop me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you so much